Jay Steger, Coal Country Winery. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about wine sediment and what that means. If you see it in your wine, I'm going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about two different types of wine sediment, and believe it or not, neither one of these sediments is considered a defect because people have been drinking wine for literally thousands of years and purification methods that make our, our wine nice and clear like this, where it's perfect, those only existed for about the last hundred years at the most. So uh, our first one we're gonna talk about is tartrate, which uh, that, one is, uh, that one is another one that's been um, just figured out in the last uh, 75 years or so, where uh, before that, tartrate was just a natural, a natural part of drinking wine. See that right there, right on the bottom of that glass? That is the tartrate crystals. And uh, if you've drank uh, wines uh, um, for a while now, you, uh, you stick your uh, nice white bottle of wine in the refrigerator and you you pour the first couple glasses of wine, or fine, all of a sudden you get toward the bottom and you get this stuff, uh, yes, it's almost, it's almost like little pieces of glass. Uh, I've actually had people call up and talk about wines that came from other wineries. This one came from here at Coal Country. Uh, this is our Heavenly, which uh, this year it had uh, such a beautiful yellow color. But anyway, the, due to the inability to get this cold enough, we have the tartrate. And, uh, what, what you do to, to prevent tartrate is uh, you do a process called cold stabilization. Cold stabilization basically is you bring the temperature down to slightly below freezing for anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. And that makes all this stuff come out of the wine and that way when you put it in the refrigerator it doesn't come out of the wine. This is just uh, a byproduct of uh, the tartaric acid that, that is naturally in wine. Uh, tartaric acid is what gives it the bite and the really good feel. Well, some wines are saturated with tartaric acid and when they are, they will precipitate when you chill them down and being most people like white wines chilled, you will always get that precipitation if it hasn't been cold stabilized. This was, but it just wasn't done well enough. Uh, almost every winery has problems with this from time to time. Uh, they now make a chemical that you can put in here in addition to coal stabilizing and that keeps that tartrate from forming. I personally don't like to put chemicals in wine when I don't have to because uh, I don't know what that chemical is and uh, to me, I'd just as soon have a natural wine and have a little tartrate. Now, we have the number two problem with wines is it's, uh, it's like a tannin sediment, uh, high tannin wines will have a little bit of sludge on the bottom. And uh, this, uh, I was trying to find a bottle of wine that had a little bit of it, and this, this does have it. But uh, what I'm gonna have to do is dump this out a little bit. Oh, you can see there is a little bit stuck there. Oh yeah, there it is, there it is. Right there. You'll see that. Um, you can see that there is some, uh, just a little bit of uh, basically garbage on the bottom of this red wine. That is a really uh, high quality wine drinkers are so used to this, they don't even bat an eye. They, uh, they just go, well, if you wanna drink good wines, you're gonna have these, these tannins. Uh, so if you eliminate the possibility of drinking a wine that has a little bit of sludge like that and you'll miss some of the best wines in the world. So, this comes from uh, basically uh, the tannin is the, uh, the bitterness that you, you have in a, in a really high quality red wine. Um, higher tannins uh, actually make for a better aging wine. And this is where tannins break down and actually precipitate to the bottom. It's not a defect, it's just uh, it's part of the process. You can filter some of this out, but you're also filtering out some of your flavor too. So, my advice, Get yourself a little pourer that has a little filter on it and you'll take out the big chunks. But like this little bit right here, that last little uh, sip, it, um, it doesn't hurt you and it's, uh, 
Uh, it's pretty normal in wine, but uh, basically when you put that in your mouth, it kind of is disgusting. So now, of course, the best way to uh, to combat this sort of sort of situation is to decant the wine and. Uh, a lot of these higher tannin wines are much better off being decanted in the first place because you uh, let it breathe and it brings out the flavors a little more. But also, you can you can put one of these uh, filtering uh, pourers on and you can carefully pour it into the de decanter and uh, then you won't have to uh, serve the sediment to any of your guests. Because uh, some guests will understand fine wine and some won't and some will just think you bought some cheap wine and served it to them. So decanting is a very very good option for uh, dinner parties and things like that and uh, actually uh, if I know a uh, wine is going to have a lot of sediment in I uh, oftentimes will decant it myself. Now if you find value in these videos uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button down below. That'll give you a notification every time we put a new video out and uh, we put out one or two a week. Uh, so you won't be inundated with notices, but uh, uh, yes, you'll get a notification and uh, uh, you'll get to see more episodes of uh, Jay Stager talking about wine. Jay Stager, Cold Country Winery, uh, we will see you next time.